the late Professor Stephen Hawking uh, wrote the, the book, the very well-known book, A Brief History of Time. Uh, and in it, he, he tries to investigate how the universe works, how it holds together, how it came into being. And that book has sold more copies than any other scientific book ever written. Uh, and it was in the best-selling chart for some 237 weeks. Here's how the, the last paragraph reads. Let me read it to you. If we discover a complete theory, it should in time be understandable by everyone, not just by a few scientists. Then we shall all, philosophers, scientists and just ordinary people, be able to take part in the discussion of the question of why it is that we and the universe exist. If we find the answer to that, it would be the ultimate triumph of human reason, for then we would know the mind of God. Well, some of the greatest minds, of course, have tried to, uh, to answer those questions about where the universe came. Philosophers and others have uh, discussed this down through the generations. But even the greatest minds can never fully begin to understand God's mind. The prophet Isaiah gives us an insight, however, into God, the one who created our universe. Here, here's what he says in chapter 40. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breadth of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket, or weighed the mountains on the scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has understood the mind of the Lord, or instructed him as his counsellor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him, and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge, or showed him the path of understanding? And then he goes on, he sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy, and spreads them out like a tent to live in. To whom will you compare me? Who is my equal? says the Holy One. Lift your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one, and calls each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. And the writer uh, to, the, to the Hebrews, to the book of Hebrews in, in the New Testament, reminds us that God spoke to us through Jesus. Jesus who came to make God known. That this God uh, whose mind is so much greater than anything we can understand. The great, infinite, eternal God of the universe. Here's what the writer to the Hebrews says. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory, and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. That, that is the, the God of the universe, the God who is so far beyond the, the understanding of even, even the greatest mind. And yet he's one who has made himself known to us through Jesus. Here's how Isaiah chapter 40 ends. The very well-known words of comfort from this great, infinite God who reaches down to us. He says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And uh, Jesus' uh, own familiar words, of course, that we, we know very well, are, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We're all living through challenging times at the moment. Things aren't the way we like them to be. They're not the way we're used to them being. Uh, and some of you in particular, I know, are going through great difficulties, great personal hardships and, and worries. Well, we may not understand all the intricacies of the universe, but we can know the strength and comfort of him who made it because he's made himself known to us through the Lord Jesus. Whatever your life holds uh, this week, would it may you know the peace of God which passes understanding and may you come to the one uh, who knows uh, all about us and who said come to me all who are weary and are burdened and I will give you rest.